Okay, we're going to start off with a new project, new RAD controls, Windows Phone application project, and name it RAD Date Picker Example. We're going to target 7.1. You need to make sure you have Core selected, Primitive selected, and Input selected. For the demonstration purposes, I'm not going to have these in. There's another video that goes over the installation templates and the wizards. For now, we're just going to start off with a fresh project. Before we go into implementing it, I'm going to go an overview with the visual structure of what the control is. So in the UI, you're going to see this little window, and inside the window is the date. The pop-up template will then give the user the option to slide through any of the values as you would with any other native Windows Phone interface. Take notice here of the OK and Cancel button. We're going to go through that later. Let me slide this over and get a little bit more room and zoom out. First thing you want to do is add the namespace. So let's give it a namespace. Now we can access the control. Now that we've added the correct namespace, let's throw a stack panel in there. And let's call in the Telerik input namespace. And rad date picker. Let's give it a name. And close it off. Let's throw in a text block so we can display the value the user chose. Now that we have the two elements in the UI, we need to fire off an event in the date picker to update this text box. The event we're going to use is value changed. There's two different ways to get a value from a rad date picker. One is as a datetime object, and the other is as a string directly. So in our case, it's very convenient to have it come out as a string. Because it comes out as a string, we're able to assign it directly to the text block. So let's take values text blocks text property and assign it as my rad date picker dot value string. Let's run it. Date. And notice how it comes up. There's another way to get the value out. So let's comment this out. You can do it directly as a daytime. So your daytime. Now you can take this object and use it anywhere. The daytime value or the daytime value as a string. If you notice when we ran the app, the icons were not there. We have to do one thing. So let's go back to the project, add a folder to your project name it images. After you've added the folder we have to add a couple icons to it. I'm going to show you here in the documentation the link will be in the blog as well. So there's two buttons that need to be in the default path. The default path is as you see here. The images folder we just added and a date time picker OK PNG and a date time picker cancel PNG. You can download the icon directly from the documentation although you can't see it it's right there in the corner. So if I was to right click on it, save image as, date time picker, ok, .png, save that, come back to the documentation, let's get the cancel one, it's right up there in the corner, save image as, date time picker, cancel, png, save it. So now that these are on my machine, Let's get rid of this and go back to your project. Right click on the images folder, add existing item. You can add them both at the same time. The next step is to take both of them and open your properties pane. Change this to content. Now if we run the project again, it's going to rebuild to open it back up and your icons are there. And that wraps up this quick demonstration on how to use Rad Date Picker. If you would like to learn more or more advanced scenarios, you can check the documentation, send me an email, or ping me on Twitter.
or send me an email or send me an email or send me an email or blah.